What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to DevSolves. And in this video, we're gonna be diving into a different topic. Now, guys, I'm still moving. You can see the boxes over there. So we don't really have the studio completely set up, but this topic I wanna to dive into is coding tutorials and coding courses and how they can be a trap that you can easily fall into. So without further ado, let's dive in. Now, what is tutorial hell? Tutorial hell is basically this. If you're going, if you're someone who's tr trying to learn how to code and you're just starting out and you're running into the problem where you know, you're watching an endless amount of tutorials on YouTube, expecting to find all of the information you need. Now, why is this a problem, right? Because you feel like you're retaining a lot of information, especially because tutorials are made in a way that it makes it makes it feel like you're actually building something, like you're building a Netflix clone or you're building your favorite app alongside with another developer. But the, the root of the problem is that you aren't really retaining any information. Because let's say you finish a tutorial, right? Let's say you finish a tutorial and, and, and I ask you to rebuild that exact same thing that you did a tutorial about. You're not gonna be able to do it without having that video alongside you. So this can be incredibly frustrating for someone learning how to code because they're thinking, you know, I'm watching these tutorials and, and I feel like I'm learning a lot about, you know, code, about anything. But when it comes down to it, when I'm asking you, hey, go out and try and learn this or go out and try and build this, you won't be able to do that because you really didn't learn anything. Now, tutorials aren't all bad, right? I'm not going to sit here and bash on every single tutorial that's there. Some of them are very good, especially the ones that are put in like a course format. But the reality is those two can be so overwhelming it can be so it can be so much information at once that you're not really able to to take it and apply it anywhere. And so that's kind of the concept of what this video is about because programming and this is the key takeaway I want for everyone, programming is path oriented. Programming is path oriented. You need a set path. Programming matter it, it matters more about how you spend your time learning rather than what you're learning. Now, I know that sounds a little hasty, but just bear with me for a second, because in the last video, we talked about shiny object syndrome and, you know, why you shouldn't go out and try and learn all these new trending languages and frameworks and technologies. And that applies to this video as well. How you spend your time learning depend is completely. All that matters when it comes to programming. For example, if I decide I'm gonna spend two hours watching a coding tutorial and I'm gonna write code for like 10 minutes, I'm not gonna learn anything and I'm gonna be stuck in tutorial hell and, and I'm not gonna be able to retain any information. Whereas if I spend two hours writing code and 30 minutes watching a tutorial or 30 minutes reading documentation, then I can actually get somewhere with my code. And this is an easy trap to fall into because the same thing applies with coding courses. I can spend 15 bucks on a coding course and expect to, you know, learn all of this information. But at the end of the day, I'm not really retaining a lot because I don't really have guidance. I don't really have what I need whenever I get stuck and it's easy for me to get burnt out. So the takeaway for this video is this. Instead of going down the route, the route of coding courses and tutorials, focus on how you're going to actually spend your time learning. And if you buy a coding course, don't stop until you finish it. And if you need mentorship or you need someone to help get there, I know we talk about mentorship a lot. We're not going to really dive too deep into it. But if you need mentorship and you need help getting there, it's important to find a mentor. So key takeaways, guys. Learning to code is path-oriented. All that matters is that you have a set path to follow. And secondly, how you spend your time learning to code matters so much more than what you're actually learning. Take these bits of information and let it help kind of guide you as to where you want to go as a developer. For example, if you want to become a web developer, you need a set path and you need to stick to that path. You don't need to go watch all these different coding tutorials to help you get there. And you don't want to get trapped in tutorial hell or in an endless loop where you're buying coding courses that you never finish. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I think in the next video we'll have the studio set up, so I can't wait to share with you guys more content like this. Thank you guys so much. Peace.